Yaho YouTube, I am super gangy. Welcome back to my channel. I just thought I would make a video talking about some of those things I do on the daily basis. Well, not that I do, but I want to do because today is the first day, the start of the new revolution. Actually, right now, I'm listening to my phone alarm because I love the Hamilton soundtrack so much. So instead of having like a normal alarm tone, I want to have like, I want to wake up to Hamilton. I want to be like, it's a blur. Sir, he handles the financials. You punched the purse, sir. Yes, I wanted to do what you did, graduate into and join the revolution. He looked at me like I was stupid. I'm not stupid. So how'd you do it? How'd you graduate so fast? It was my parents' dying wish before they passed. So it's a good way to just start the day. Just have a really upbeat song, kind of wake you up. This is my dog. She was like clawing at the door last night. And when she did that, I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. So I've actually been awake since like 3.40 in the morning because my little brother came downstairs and was like, hey man. And I'm like, yeah man, what's up? And he's like, can I borrow your headphones? And I'm like, no. He's like, all right. And then he left, but he took my headphones anyway. And I was like, dude, man, what do you mean? I just said no. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, man. But I didn't want to go back to sleep because like I'm always thinking about like waking up earlier and like, getting to work earlier. So instead of going to sleep from like 3.40 to like 4.30, I just watched YouTube videos, which is something I need to get much better at doing. If you want to become a better YouTuber, you have to watch YouTube videos. Oh my wow. So another thing that I want to be doing in the morning is like definitely studying scripture. So I just opened my Bible and guess what I found? Oh, I found this picture. It's of my grandfather and my mother when she was a kid and it's just so cute. Am I on chapter three? No, I'm on chapter four. Yeah, yeah, that one. Cool, so we'll read this. I'm gonna jam out to some some Judah Smith right now. Voos Conference 2017, one of my favorite on their YouTube channel. You should definitely check them out. Alrighty do YouTube, it is now 5.30 in the morning. Time to walk our dog. Her name is Muffin, by the way. Hello. Say hello. Aww. YouTube just got off the bus on my way to work today to be that overly enthusiastic camp counselor. <laughs> Y'all had one before in your life, so just imagine that camp counselor times a thousand, and then you get me. Yay, so much fun. It's kind of funny because I work in a primarily Hispanic school, and the moment I walk into the school, they're like, Ringo, buen dia, and I'm like, Bingo? But you know what, we have to learn Spanish, so this is a great place to be. I just got done serving breakfast and helping to facilitate the kids to go into their classrooms for summer camp. And one of the camp counselors told me something that I thought was really cool. Because I didn't come last Thursday or Friday. And the kids were wondering where I was at. She told me today, the kids were like, where's that happy guy at? Because that's the impression I created upon them by being a thousand times more enthusiastic than a normal camp counselor. Where's that happy guy at? And when I heard that, I was like, wow, positive thinking does work. Instead of being a normal camp counselor, be an enthusiastic camp counselor. Because that's the key to being remembered in the eyes of a young mind. Or anybody's mind, really. If you want people to really care about what you say, and you want people to really pay attention to what you do, you have to foster this relationship with them. You have to bring value to their lives. Show them a different way to perceive the reality around them. 
and I think it was Hope Castillo, don't quote me on this, but Pitbull, who founded Slam Academy, literally said that his motivation was Hope Castillo, which was one of his teachers. Because the teacher was the first person to ever tell him that she believed in him. And it's just like, it's cool, because you never know. You never know, but that's what positive thinking allows you to do. It allows you to find out. So definitely never downplay the power of positivity and being happy around others because you'd be surprised at just how much of an impact you can have on them. But yeah, it was really cool. This is just that vlog update. I don't know, my first ever like day-to-day -day vlog kind of thing. Get Genki. Next on this is coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah! So much fun. I've been coming here every day since I can slam. This is like my usual coffee joint right now. It's in the area. It's a really good stop. <laughs> Yahoo YouTube. Finished up at Slam at around 3.30. Made my way to Wynwood, about to meet one of my mentors. Every week, you should be wanting to surround yourself with at least one person who is in a position where you want to be in. So you can learn from that person, so you can grow from that person. This is called the power of association. Because the people you associate yourself with right now are gonna probably determine who you are and where you are in the future. So you really wanna become mindful of the people you surround yourself with. And it only has to be once a week. But once a week is the bare minimum to exposing yourself to successful people who are in positions where you wanna be. Because if you don't expose yourself to these people, it's gonna be much, much, much harder for you to become them. Get Genki. All right, YouTube, so I'm waiting for my mentor right now, and I just got this idea. Why not call myself a professional door holder and open doors for people? I swear I was doing this, and a police officer took notice of me and was like, hey, why are you so happy? Why are you so positive? And then I got to explain to him why I was so happy and positive, and it's just, oh, uh, it's so cool. You can't just mentalize it. You have to verbalize it. Because when you verbalize it, you have the chance to influence and impact people. It is absolutely phenomenal, YouTube. Get Genki. So I just got finished with my mentor. Super bomb hour of nonstop positive thinking and positive planning. There was one thing that he said that stuck with me and encapsulated the whole hour of our conversation. It's actually a quote by Albert Einstein. I'm gonna read to you that quote right now. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use when we created them. What I took away from this is that we have to constantly be seeking to evolve the way we think in order to make progress in where we want to go. The thinking of yesterday cannot get us to where we want to be a year from today. We have to constantly seek to advance the way we think. It's the only way we're going to continually make enough progress to learn what we need to learn down the road. Get Genki. Yaho, YouTube! It's around 7.30 and I'm at Brickle Station. About to catch the bus to go back to FIU. I'm thinking about going to the gym, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it. If I am gonna do it, you'll see it in the next video update. Yaho, YouTube! It's about 8.30 right now. I just got back to my alma mater. I called earlier and asked what time the gym closed. 10 o'clock, so we're going to the gym right now. But before I go to the gym, I just wanna talk a little bit about a guy I met on the bus. I actually started talking to him at the Brickle Station bus stop because he was wearing a really nice suit. And I'm like, dude, man, nice suit. And he said, thanks. So when we got on the bus, it was like really crowded. It was like a lot of people, a lot of people on the bus. And I had like a two-seater thing, but I wanted to give it up for other people. So I looked at him and I said, hey, can I sit next to you? We were both listening to music. And since I had already complimented him, I was like, hey, are you a college student? And he said, no, actually, I'm in law school. And I was like, that's really cool. So I ended up asking him a couple questions about law school and his answers were super on point. The first question I asked him was, what was the hardest part about your first year of law school? And he told me that the hardest part was focusing on yourself, not worrying about what other people are doing and just really focusing in on what you want to do. The second question I asked him was, what makes a good lawyer? And he told me it was taking pride in your work being honest and working for your client. And then the last question I asked him was, what advice would you give to a 23 year old? He told me to be patient. Chase your passion, but don't expect it to come overnight. I thought all these pieces of advice were really, really great, so I just wanted to share them with you before I go to the gym. Get Genki. Yahoo, YouTube. It's 
about 10.30 p.m. and we finally just got back home. Today was not necessarily a normal day in my routine. It was a great day and I'm so happy that I got to catch that on camera and show you. Positive thinking isn't necessarily a short-term strategy to success. You only really begin to see the value of it over a long-term period of time. And that's why it's really important to be focusing every day on how can I make this situation more positive? How can I have more fun? How can I bring a smile to someone's face? How can I bring value to the conversation? Because having a good day, in most cases, is a choice. And if you use positive thinking, you're much more likely to choose that good day. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video or this video helped you out, please don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.